Good morning or afternoon to grade ones and twos. Today is Tuesday the 4th of August. Let's look at our learning intention. We're still looking at multiplication, but we are doing repeated addition. So uh, that's a way to help us solve the problem, the multiplication problems. Okay, so to be successful, I can add the same number over and over to get my answer. Let's look at this first example. Five groups of two. Say it with me, five groups of two. That's gonna look like this with my bananas. I've got five groups, just like what we did last week. We made our groups, we drew pictures with circles and dots, remember? So I've got one group, two groups, three, four, five groups, and there are two bananas in each. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. This week, we are looking at repeated addition. So have a look down here. I wanna make that a little bit bigger. It's very important this week that we know what it looks like as repeated addition. So this, the groups that we've done, looks like this. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two. There should be five twos there because there are five groups of two. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. There are five groups of two there. That's what it looks like as repeated addition. And to get our answer, we just need to count them all. We can skip count by twos if we can. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Or you can count them to get your answer. Ten. What about this one? Six groups of three. There, that's what it looks like as pictures. I've got six groups with three eggs in each group. As repeated addition, that would be three plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three. So we're adding three six times. So there should be six threes there. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, there are six threes there. When I add three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three, plus three I get 18. Your task today. So after you've watched this video, it says fill in the chart in the Google Doc below. Use what's there to help you. Also, use your counters to help you. All right, so when you click on that link, it will take you to this page. Yeah, yours will look exactly like this. It says here, fill in the missing parts of the chart. Use what is there to help you. The first one is done for you. There are two blank rows at the end for you to make your own. I'm going to help you through this. So the first one's done here. It says here, multiplication equation. So the first one was four groups of six. This part here is just the words that we need to that we need to do. So we've got number four, and then groups of should be written in words. So groups of six. That's pretty, that's pretty much the same. That's we've got the words there. Now this column is the repeated addition. So four groups of six should look like six plus six plus six plus six plus six. Should be four sixes there. And then our answer is 24. Now, if you get a little bit confused, you can make it. So use your, use your blocks. So we're gonna go through a couple together. This next one has got the first three filled out. You just need to find the answer to that one, five groups of four. So if you made five groups with four in it, you can count them all and you'll get your answer. Let's look at this next one. So this one says six groups of three. So in here, you're gonna have to write six groups of, okay, so you should, you should spell that correctly because it's all here, groups of three, six groups of three. What's that gonna look like as repeated addition? Well, I've got six groups with three in each group. So make it with your counters to help you. So there's three. So there's one one group of three. Here is two groups of three. There's three groups of three. There's four groups of three. Nearly there. Five groups of three. And six groups of three. So there's my six groups. Make sure you spread them out so you don't get don't get confused. I've now got one, two, three, four, five, six groups of three. That's exactly what this is asking me to do. 
So as repeated addition, it's going to be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So you have to type that in like this. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. It should be six threes there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to rub that out though because I want you to do it. Okay, so use your counters to help you. Off you go.